So I'm so excited to share this. So without further ado, this is the Sphinx 3-in-1 Portable Razor System. It comes with, so what this thing comes with, it's 3-in-1. So it has a water bottle sprayer in it to moisten your legs. There's also a pre-shave bar in there, which I think is probably like a shaving cream or something. And then there is a single razor in there. It came with this information card, so I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. And it says, oops, missed a spot shaving, need a quick touch up. Life's a roller coaster. Sometimes you run out of the house and realize you missed a spot shaving. The good news, we run where you run. Stash your Sphinx anywhere, in your car, purse, gym bag, carry-on bag when traveling, basically anywhere out of the house when it's not convenient to carry your traditional razor with you. The best part is it's refillable. Learn how to refill your Sphinx at shopsphinx.com slash howto. And on the back it said, did you know why we choose single blades? We designed the Sphinx with a, shing with a single blade razor so that you don't need to tap it on the sink like you would with a multiple blade razor. With our blades, there's less clogging and it's easier to clean, making it ideal for shaving on the go. We love you so much, we threw in a backup blade in case you didn't have a chance to clean the first one. Okay, so... Basically, if you're on the go and you shave your leg and you don't have a chance to clean that one, you can just pop in the new razor and you're good to go. What makes the pre-shave bar so special? It says, we spent months developing a formula that doesn't melt in your car under the sun, doesn't feel sticky, and doubles as an aftershave moisturizer when you're done to make your skin feel nice and smooth. Oh yeah, and it's cruelty free. What makes Sphinx so unique? It's not meant to replace your at-home shaving routine. Sphinx is meant for those quick touch-ups so you can live life freely. Plus, our blades are designed with safety guards that allow you to tackle those sensitive and hard to reach places. Weak. So I'm assuming they mean like bikini line, armpit, stuff like that. So, this is the packaging and like I said, the shade is teal the deal and on the back it says for how to use. So you remove the cap, remove water spray and add water. Place the water spray bottle back in spray water on desired shave area. Rotate the center dial to the moisturizing pre-shave bar. Lather skin generously with pre-shave bar. Rotate center dial to first or second razor and shave desired area. Rub leftover moisturizer into the skin and you're done. Hooray! And then how to clean, you just rotate the center dial to spray bottle so razor blades are not exposed. Then remove cap, twist outer shell in opposite directions to open, rinse with water as needed to close, twist outer shell back into place. And they have refillable packs online for the bar and the blades. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. And it has a pre tear tab on top. I really like this packaging because it shows you exactly what you're getting. So this is the Sphinx 3-in-1 Shave Bar. It has this little attachment on the back and it says, Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd like to clean and refill me. <laughs> oh my god, they did not. It's tearing up my heart when I'm dull for you and when I need a refill, you fill it too. If you want my future, refill me fast. If you don't want to dirty me, better clear my better clean my past. Dull and dirty, ain't nobody got time for that. Learn how to clean and refill your Sphinx at shopsphinx.com slash how to. That is really cute. I might end up keeping this because that's really, really cute. That goes in my same pile. <laughs> this is the Sphinx and it has a little tape right here, I think. Yeah, it has a piece of tape right here 
to protect it from being open. So this is the spray bottle portion and there is nothing in there right now so it's not gonna spray. And then you just rotate. So you're supposed to just be able to rotate this. Okay, there we go. It's really hard to rotate when you have nails on. And okay, so that's the razor and it clicks in place once you're there. So that is the single razor. Oh, I get it. Okay, so it's safety locked. You can't just twist it. You have to push and then twist. Okay, so it's gin proof. We have learned this. This, this product is Jennifer proof. <laughs> so you push and twist. So that is the shave bar. It smells very floral. I like how it smells. Yeah, 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 you need to be wet because it doesn't really come off. This smells really good. So we're gonna twist one more time. So it's push and twist. And this is the little tiny spray bottle that comes with it. I'm gonna go fill this up with water and we're gonna shave. <laughs> All right, so it is now full of water and I'm just going to pop it back into spot, back into place, and let's test it out. Yep, it sprays. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys first on my arm how it works, and then I will show you my legs I haven't shaved in a week. It's gonna be fun! <laughs> so the first step is spray it with water, and then twist or push and twist to the shaving bar. And you want to really lather it up. It doesn't feel like it lathers, it just kind of like, I'm gonna spray a little bit more because I feel like it's not lathering. Maybe it's just not wet enough. There we go. Okay, now it is lathering. So can you guys kind of see that it lathered? There's a little bit of lathering cream on there. So now this is the razor and you can see there is hair. So we're just going to go. Wow, okay, so you can see the razor is covered in hair now, hopefully. And I don't know if you can tell, but it is nice and smooth now. So you can see there is still hair right here, but right here, there is not. Now I am going to attempt to shave my leg with this. I'm really nervous and I'm kind of embarrassed because I haven't shaved my leg in like a week, so. So here is my beautiful, beautiful unshaved leg. You can see there is still a bunch of hair there. And I'm hoping this works, so. Okay, so if you hold it upside down like this, you don't really get much spray. So you have to hold it upright, which makes this kind of awkward. We're just gonna focus on a small part right here. So push and turn. And it really takes quite a little while for it to lather up, but it does lather. Now, push. Oof. It's really hard when your hands are wet. Turn. So I'm not gonna reuse the same razor. I'm gonna use this one instead. So, I hope you guys can see this but it is doing an amazing job. And I started to bleed. I bleed every time I shave. It doesn't matter what I use. You can clearly see, hopefully, the difference. Like right here is nice and smooth and then there's hair over here. So this thing definitely works. Like, look at that. That's not too close. You can see the hair. And then we're gonna rub in what's left of that balm. That is really cool. So there you have it, quick and simple. I do wish that it was a little bit easier to turn the dial, but if you're already using it and it's open, all you have to do is push on like the edges or on the side of it and 
it turns pretty easily. You just gotta watch out for the razors. So I learned that the razors just pop off. It's kind of tricky to do it and I got it to do it once and I don't remember what I did to <laughs> make it pop out. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you just pull on it and the razor pops out just like everything else and you can replace it. And on their website, it says every two to three months to replace the razor. So yeah, you have a good two, two to three months with each razor. That is amazing. Um, I'm assuming that the bar will last that same amount of time depending on how often you use it, but you can always go on their website and order a replacement. So if you guys are interested in trying the Sphinx 3-in-1 razor, portable razor, I will have a link down below for you guys to try this. And yes, I did receive this product for free from Sphinx in exchange for my honest review. And my honest review is I like it. It is very, very convenient on the go. Again, it is not, to, not for like everyday shaving. This is for touch-ups, like if you went and you Notice that you forgot a patch on the back of your leg or you notice on your hand or your arm you forgot some hair because yes, I shaved my arms. Um, I'm wondering if it can be used for stubble on the face. I don't see why not, honestly. I like that it is durable. Like It's small, it fits in the palm of your hand, so it'll fit anywhere in your purse, luggage. Like I said, my one complaint is the buttons are gin proof. <laughs> I hate saying that, but the buttons are gin proof. So for me personally, because I'm a weak ass, I have to go like and turn it from inside. But as long as you watch your fingers with the razors, it's not that hard to do. So I will be keeping this and it will be going into my bag of beach essentials, which I'm going to be filming that probably next week. So if you guys have any questions about the Sphinx 3-in-1 razor, go ahead and comment down below. I love hearing from you. Leave me a love message down below. And if you like this video, please like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to join my hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific. And most Fridays at around 8 p.m. I go live with Beauty Chats with Jen, where I just sit down, hang out, chat, and have fun. So hopefully you guys can catch me online next time I'm live. If not, I will catch you guys in the next video. I wish you lots of love and whiskers, and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye. What if I told you I couldn't stay? Take me or leave me. You can still walk away.